Hi, this is Tank. Welcome to Laser BBC. Today we we'll bring you to a laser source repair station to see how it looks like. Well, first we I'm so glad that we have Jelly here. So Jelly, uh, has, I have a few questions for you. So okay. now and more and more Chinese laser source stored in overseas markets. Now we are facing big questions. We are facing more problems and failures and breakdowns. So. Uh, for uh, end users and buyers, uh, it is too expensive for them to return it to China for maintenance. Yes. So, what is your point of view? Uh, today, we are in our laser source repair station. You can take a look at, at our left. We have many tools and uh, lasers. So, I'm sure in a very short time, you will have your laser source repair station in your country or in your city. I hope that person is you. Well, good, okay. If I am a reseller, I'd like to uh, fix the problems by myself. What uh, special skills and uh, tools and uh, spare parts do I have to prepare? Uh, for you, if you want to set up a laser source repair station like this in your country, first you need to equip with the professional tools like a splicing machine, cleaver, and a power meter, and so on, some regular tools. Second, you need to prepare few parts, like this kind of uh, second-hand lasers or new parts that we have on sale in our shop and our website. Third, you need to be uh, trained or uh, familiar with the schematics or configuration of each kind of lasers. For Ravens, Max, or IBG, you need to get the schematics or you need to know how it configurates. Well, that's so professional, but uh, if I am a nobody who knows nothing about the laser source, how can I get an special training and guidance from you? And uh, since more customers ask uh, for service from us? Yes, it's a good question. There are many customers asking us. They can buy tools easily, and there are many brands with this uh, spicy machine on flavor. But the problem is, how can you get trained uh, of uh, open the laser and attach with your own hands to repair that. So for this, if you uh, buy the tools in our uh, shop, we will supply you with online video support to yeah. get you regular lessons and uh, to have uh, one by one with our engineer to teach you how to use the machine and uh, how to uh, figure out the problems and how to change and switch the parts. This we will have our engineers to help you one by one. Okay, thank you Jenny, and uh, I have a question, uh, would you like to tell more about the laser source common faults? For laser source, because it's an um, optical um, oscillator, so the regular problems can be losing power, or the power goes down, or you burn the crystal, you, you have dirty or burn the protective halves or things like that, or you have alarms, maybe you have power supply going down, or Generally speaking, is that you're losing the power or you lose the mold, which costs losing the cut or losing the welding. So um, uh, each kind of laser they have a, they have a checking software. So first, you need to install the software and uh, to communicate with the laser, and you judge alarms and you you talk with our engineers who will tell you what kind of um, it is, and we will tell you which kind of module you need to switch. We will supply you part, and you just plug and plug again. Then that's 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 the sound. It's quite quite easy. Okay, okay, thank you. And uh, on the other hand, uh, different customers may have different brands of laser source, like IPG, Arikas, uh, and Max. So, how to repair the different brands and the models? Yes, take a look at our lab because our engineers uh, they were working in Rayquaza field, so we mostly we we, we service Rayquaza laser. But lasers they are normally quite similar, even they have different configurations for different brands. But the theory is the same. So uh, if you can do this and you can do the other two easily, and but you know the problem is the parts because you you can judge the problem, but how can you? This, uh, replace the part with a new one. So we also work with the other drop shops in China and they do Max or they do IBG. So we have the one stop solution for you if you want to source this part or technical support.
That's great. And the last question, um, what about the investment budgets? If I'd like to set up this kind of a job shop. Well, good question. And it, it also varies because depends on how what's your uh, budget or what's your target for, for setting up this uh, kind of uh, station. Because uh, maybe you have different customer base, or maybe you have uh, max laser if you are agent of Bolor machines, or maybe you just service the average lasers in Europe because that's a big market share. So it depends on which kind of market you're targeting and how many units you plan to service, how many engineers you're going to have, and um, you know, what the brand house rates or something like that. So it's a for the tools, splicing tools and cleaver, we have different levels, so price varies a lot. And I, I, I suggest you visit our website, www.demarkchina.cn, and you will see all the categories of the tools, and I, you can left encourage our uh, salesperson, they will give you a tailored solution. Okay, thank you, Jenny, and thank you for watching our video.